William Leo Fleming, and I'm 55 years old. I was born in Little Shoot here, so out of high school. I got, went in the Navy for two years, and then I came back home and <laughs> partied for a couple of years, and then uh, got a job, quit that and partied a couple more years, and then I got into flooring business in 1977. Wood, carpet, vinyl, tile, laminate, you know, everything that had anything to do with floor covering we did. So I'd say 50 people worked there, you know, where it took a lot of work to keep all them guys busy, you know. I mean, I, the way it was going, you knew it couldn't last forever. And, uh, but I figured, you know, with the experience that I had and the, and the amount of years I had in it and, and the amount of years I had left, that... I would be there until I retired and, you know, I'd go on my merry way, but they uh, they decided to get rid of a, a bunch of us with experience and hire a bunch of kids to take our places. So I, I think with the paper mill closing, it probably did have an effect on their business because that's a large, you know, population of this area and, you know, people buying new homes and people remodeling their old homes and you know, that all comes into play. It all kind of just trickles down, I guess. So February 2008 was the last time I worked. You know, the guy called me up on that. That's what really got my, under my skin, too. Instead of calling me into his office, you know, he called me on the phone and told me, you're done, you know. And, and yeah, he always kept bragging about, well, my office door is always open, and, and we're like family, and if you have any problems, you can come and talk to us. And, you know, and I kind of got under my skin when he called me on the phone and told me, well, you're... You're not coming back. You're done. You know, and because I mean, if, if they would have called me in, I would I would have took a cut and pay to stay because they were paying me quite a quite a bit of money for what I was doing. You know, they just said I could collect unemployment. Then they went, you know. So I collected my six months unemployment, and actually, I've been pretty lucky. I've been getting extensions on my unemployment, so. But sooner or later, that's going to run out, too, and can't get a job to save your soul, you know. Divorced. And it's just me and my dog. That's it. That's all I got to care about, you know. So no insurance, no, you know, just hanging out in limbo until something comes along. But I'm sure there's jobs, you know, out there that I that are available, but to try and pay the bills on them would be another, you know. If I can't make as much as I'm making on unemployment, why should I go to work? Well, I went to school for truck driving, so that's what I want to do. Well, since I got out of school, I've been going to uh, workforce development a couple times a week, getting on the computer there looking for, and then going to the library or somewhere where they got a computer and applying online or sending in applications or applying in person or, you know, and everything comes back, sorry, sorry, sorry. It, it just sucks, you know, it's tough all over. I didn't think that the Valley would ever be affected by a recession with all the paper mills and stuff, you know, because it was always, you know, strong and, and, and the economy was always good. And, and when they went down the tubes, then you knew we were in trouble. Five years ago, if you would have told me I'm going to be in the situation that I'm in now, I would have never believed you, you know. So, I don't know, you always see it on TV and you think, well, it's not going to happen to me, you know, and now it's, here we sit, you know, so deal with it. And I guess that's, you know, all we can do is go day by day and, and uh, have some faith and, and, you know, not give up. I just want to work and make a living and pay my bills, and, and that's all I want to do, you know. I had all the junk and the toys and crap, and, I mean, that's all it was was stuff. So when the unemployment stops, I'll be looking for a nice, comfortable box to, to live in if I don't have a job by then, but...